checked behind my car when I opened the garage door there is an Amazon package that is like literally frosted over so we're gonna do a car unboxing oh it's a gift for someone can't share that one because they watch the channel all right um, we are headed to the gym it took me a little longer than I wanted. I wanted to be there by seven. Instead, I'm leaving. Oh my, you can't even see my face. All right, so we're gonna go to the gym. I'm just going to probably do like a five or six mile run because there's no way I'm running in this weather. So next time I see you, we will be done at the gym. I am back from the gym and cleaned up and one thing I forgot to mention is that I am not feeling super great. I've been battling like a sore throat for since Friday. So yesterday, laid pretty low and rested, but um, today I had to do a benchmark run because I've been doing these interval training and I wanted to see what I got my mileage up to. So I ran three miles at 7.57. Now, that's not like a pace I would use on like a long run, but I figured if I can get my pace up for short runs, then it'll ultimately affect and lower the pace in which I run longer distances. Um, yeah, so I'm not feeling super great, but actually sweating it out at the gym has made me feel a little bit better, but my throat is still sore and old habits die hard and I definitely stopped at McDonald's on my way home from the gym and got a Diet Coke. I know it's so bad for you but you live once in this life <laughs> so you might as well have things that you enjoy. Last month I didn't get a chance to film favorites because work was so busy and um, as you all know like I was super busy traveling and just like lots of tasks and all that. So I thought I would share some recent purchases that I really, really love, as well as share with you that I just bought this week three pairs of glasses. I hadn't had my eyes checked in quite some time and my right eye is getting worse. So um, I had to go and get new glasses because my glasses were no longer helping and I thought I'd show them to you because I really, really love them. Um, but I thought I'd share some things that I have been using this month that I've loved. It's just like four items. Native deodorant is the first one. Um, I have had a really hard time finding a paraben aluminum free deodorant that actually works and native deodorant from Target works and I love the scent um, tea tree and sage. I think it's very unisex in its scent but it's only in the men's section for native um, so if you want to grab it if you like tea tree you will love this it's amazing but it's the first one I have found that actually works for me. I've tried Schmitz it did not work native works and I love it. I have one here at the house and then I have one in my gym bag. I absolutely love it. Another purchase that I have recently made is the new iPhone. And at first I had an XS Max and I was like, mm, is the upgrade really worth it? Um, I would say if you have an XS Max, I would really consider maybe not upgrading. But um, here's the things that I love. I found that the pictures are gorgeous, especially like the portrait mode for the, um, that you can do when taking a selfie. It's stunning. I also really, really love that they got rid of the glossy glass and it's more of a matte finish. And I love what they consider silver is actually like, to me, more of like a grayish white. Um, I think the speaker is incredibly, incredibly clear and it's also much louder than I've had on a phone before. So I appreciate that because I play a lot of music directly from my phone in my office and um, it's really nice and loud and the battery life is spectacular. Other than that, it's the same exact phone. There's really not that many differences. I didn't notice a big difference in speed or anything like that or call clarity, nothing. But I would say those features that I just shared with you um, are the ones that stand out to me, but like, I don't think it's a necessary upgrade at all. The other thing I've been loving, this is the Saddle Brown Apple case, and I found this really cute tortoiseshell pop socket at, um, Target, and it has like a gold edging, and I really like it. I love a pop socket, and it really sticks well to the leather case. It'll probably ruin the leather, but I will always have a pop socket in that spot anyway, so it doesn't matter. 
Another thing that I am loving is I finally started some of my Christmas books and I'm reading A Christmas Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. I had shared this book with you guys earlier when I bought it to let you know what my Christmas reads were going to be. I am on... I am on page 89 and I love it. I started it last night. It's fabulous. Um, it's a really good fun Christmas read. I highly recommend it. Another thing that I am obsessed with that I recently bought, you guys know I love a bathrobe, and I found it's called, it's a tobacco colored robe, but it is like that Teddy Sherpa material, and it is so great with like huge pockets, and this will be the robe of Vlogmas. Um, as you know, like most of Vlogmas, I'm in a robe and pajamas. Um, that's kind of like the running joke. And I found this one and it is amazing. It, there are no words to describe how soft it is. And what's great is Pottery Barn usually puts their robes on sale during the holiday season. I'll leave it linked down below. This color is so different um, for a bathrobe and I love it. It's great. It's absolutely great. Speaking of the like fleecy, fluffy, material, that Sherpa material. I was looking at Oprah's favorite things um, that she released for 2019 and she released these hats from House of Fluff. And this is tangerine, a color I never dreamt I would buy. Um, I might get the bluish gray one as well, but she had these hats and it's been so cold here and <laughs> it looks ridiculous but I love it. It is so soft, it is so comfortable, and it is so ridiculously warm. Those are some of the things I've been loving, but I thought I'd show you the three pairs of glasses that I got. Um, I went not planning to buy three, but then I got narrowed down to three and couldn't decide. So the first pair that I ended up picking out are probably like the most, like n not normal, but like the most, um, simple pair. Um, I got this pair of Prada glasses. They're like a matte black. I really like how like simple they are and I love the matte black finish. I have my contacts in so this isn't working very well because I was at the gym. I do have to take that. Um, and then the next pair I got which are really fun. This tends to be everyone's favorite pair so far. Um, they're also Steven's favorite pair that I picked out. Um, they're by um, Ormani. And they're just like these simple, like I feel like an English professor when I have them on. I feel like I should have like a tweed blazer with like the elbow patches and like reading a Shakespeare book. And then I got this pair of Burberry clear glasses. I've had clear glasses in the past and I picked these up and I really, really like them. So I have three pairs of new glasses uh, because my prescription had changed and it was time to get some new glasses. Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, we are going to do some work with hanging some stockings. I'm also going to redo the entertainment center because it's just kind of blah and there's nothing that's connecting it to the rest of the house, which doesn't feel great. Um, I think Steven's gonna do some of the outdoor decorating today. Um, definitely will capture some of that on film. And then I also have some returns because there were things that I bought that I thought I would use from Pottery Barn and I didn't, so they're going back today. I also have two pairs of jeans that I bought and they're too big, so I need to return a two pairs of jeans today. Um, which is a good problem to have. When your jeans are running a little too big, it definitely makes you feel better about yourself. Um, so that is on the agenda. I'm probably gonna get dressed and um, head there to get those returns done. I think the mall opens at 10 and it's a little before 10, so by the time I get dressed, all that. It'll be time to go. We are going to be tackling the entertainment center today. So in my living room, I did start messing with it and I'm just not happy with it. It looks blah. I just, I don't like it. So we're going to play with it a little bit today. I'm gonna to share some tips as we go. And here's some of the things I got to jazz it up. So I found these amazing reindeer at um, Target. They're the Threshold brand. My Target only had two left, so I'll leave them linked down below. Might be easier just to buy them online. I got this really cute 
letters to Santa thing. Got some ornaments. We're just gonna mess with it and see what happens because I do think some of the stuff I can keep. I think the main problem is, is this year for Christmas I decided to decorate with red and there's just no red there. So I think I need to switch out these ornaments, do something. So we're gonna see what happens. All right, step back, look at it. I don't feel like this section over here looks a little wonky and weird. I think I might take out the big I'm gonna take out this big. Yes, I like that more. I don't love it though. Let's try a different pick. Let's try this pick in there. Oh, the difference a pick makes. And that's the thing you have to do. You have to arrange and step back, arrange and step back. I also think in entertainment centers, we have a, a tendency to keep everything like close to the outside edge. Push your things back. It makes it look a lot deeper. It gives it a sense of dimension. Ignore the dust. I'm gonna dust it in a second. But um, yeah, those would be some of my tips. Like pull back a little bit. Um, I mean, push things in and give it a little bit more depth over the edges of the... I think I'm happy with it now. So I'll um, let me tell you what I went ahead and did. So I filled this, um, I filled that little jar with red and silver and white now, so it really connects the red. Then ripped a wreath apart, put some red berries in that container at the top, filled that little glass container with some flocked garland and some berries. Um, added some stuff over here, put that letters for Santa thing. And then I even cut some red berries and added it to the deer. And that connects like, all the red. So it kind of makes sense and feels more cohesive now. I'm really happy with it. The next thing we're going to talk about is hanging stockings. So many of you are going to hang stockings right now and they're not going to hang the way you like. They're going to look sad and empty. So I'm going to show you what I do when I hang my stockings and then I found the coolest things to hang them with and I gotta share them with you. So we're gonna hang these stockings. I'm gonna prep them and make them beautiful so they look great until we're ready to fill them with gifts and trinkets and all that good stuff. I've been doing this for three years now. I used to hang my stockings completely empty and you know when you hang them and they're not laying nice or the way you want. I found a trick and I started using tissue paper and then doing little arrangements at the top. So what I'm going to do is just take sheets of tissue paper, ball it up and I'm going to fill all the way to the toe and you don't wanna pack it tight because then it starts to look like a stuffed animal, especially if you have a furry stocking. You just wanna lay it in there like really loose. The tissue paper will also uh, allow the picks to stay in a lot easier, but you just stuff the stocking, the pieces of tissue paper. Now, let me tell you, the other trick to use with tissue paper is instead of, um, if you use a tree skirt, you know how the tree skirt, um, the tree stand has like the legs, so there's like places where your tree skirt falls in. I crumble up tissue paper and I fill all that space around the tree stand and I even like layer some out around it so it like kind of flows and then it makes it look like there's something like holding up the tree skirt it doesn't look so limp and dead under your tree another great tip trick look how much 
fuller and beautiful it looks. Now, I got a couple things um, to add in. So I have my wire cutters, and I knew that I needed to tie in like all the flocking. I want these to kind of sit in the back, and what's great is now that tissue paper is in there, that tissue paper will help hold a lot of this in place. And then I'm just gonna arrange some of the pine pieces in here. That looks beautiful. I also got, because I need a little, I have these picks all through my garland, so I know if I add this, it'll help also connect all my garland pieces. You can kind of bend these and shape them into the stocking. There is the stocking. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other th two and then we will talk about how we're going to hang them. Literally took a couple minutes and all three of them, <coughs> and all three are prepped. I also added a cinnamon stick just to break up and add a little bit more warmth to them. And now we're going to talk about hanging them. Normally I have hung my stockings from the fireplace but this year the garland is so full and the fireplace is so busy. It didn't feel like they should go there. And I cleared up the tops of my banisters and I thought the three stockings could look really cute hanging right here. So what's interesting is I didn't know how to do it. I found these gold and silver, I'll leave them linked below, on Amazon, these wired, like twisties so I can easily just hang the stocking twist it and place them where I need them and I got a pack of six for a couple dollars I'll leave them linked they had solid silver solid gold and then a gold and silver um, I'm gonna hang the stockings and then we'll see how it looks the stockings are up and they look so perfect with the garland and I could not be happier with them. I also love that they tie in all the flocking, the silver. I'm really happy. What are you doing? What's the thing I'm doing? Putting up your Christmas decorations. So this is our garland. They are nine foot pieces. I think we have three or four of them. They are from Front Gate. They're beautiful and they really held up. They're expensive, but they hold up. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. And they don't look they're easy to put up, I would say. Yeah, we have like the system down now, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Back. And then I will come and fix all the ribbons and do all the main stuff. Yes. All right, I'll be back. Love you. Love you more. So here is the front of the porch. We have the uh, 27 feet of front gate swag. Um, Baba's is barking in the window. And then I have these two artificial trees and marble pots, some lanterns, the layered rugs like usual. It's, we like to keep it pretty simple outside. Like this is all lit, this tree is lit, and then all the trees down there are lit. There's a wreath on the garage that's really big and lit. But yeah, we keep it pretty, pretty simple. And I'm really, really happy with it. All right, there we go. Hi, are you happy? Hello, I'm old. He is a little worked up today. Which he can be worked up for about mm, 10 minutes and then he's exhausted. He's definitely slowing down a lot, right? You're slowing down a lot. And his collar is not festive. But yeah, oh, this is where I put that other reindeer that I couldn't find a spot for. It ended up here, but the house just looks so, so ready for the holidays. Right, Bubby? Yes, but I'm not ready for the holidays. I still have all my shopping to do. An amazing subscriber um, started a candle business and it's called Biblio Magica. Um, and she sent me 
uh, four candles, and let me just tell you, they are incredible. So this um, this one might be my favorite. It is birch, cedar, and vanilla, and she also sent me winter solstice, which is peppermint, eucalyptus, and smoke. I burned this one last night. It was amazing. But I'm going to leave her link down below. I love to support anyone who has a small business or is starting out and just want to share those with all of you. You know how much I love my infinite agenda. I've talked to them a lot. Uh, I've talked about them a lot on my channel. They sent me their 2020 um, planners. And once again, also, I was featured as a, one of their quotes in their planners. But these planners are absolutely stunning. Lots of vision board work and just like manifestation of goals and dreams. Um, stay tuned because these are going to be part of a giveaway on Vlogmas. Um, because I'm going to... Uh, give back a little bit throughout vlogmas and uh, they were nice enough to send these and they're also offering a discount so if you type in yay 20 i will leave all that information linked down below but you should totally get your hands on these because they're they're beautiful planners and the quality is pretty unmatched it it it, they're just exquisite and the packaging is beautiful. They also give back to organizations based off of the color of planner you buy. It's just, I cannot talk, tell you how amazing they are. And Raquel, who I talk to frequently, a creator of My Infinite Agenda, is one of the most lovely people. So I cannot say enough good things about them. Nothing has changed except glasses and the color of the fleece. But I am going to sign off here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for all the support you've been giving the channel, all the shares, all the thumbs up. It does not go unappreciated. It means the world to me. But I will leave this like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends.